my beautiful capricorns and welcome to your january love tarot reading with me miss machiste capricorn we are looking into your love life and what will be coming your way next in terms of love for the first half of january please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel Capricorn, my January giveaways have officially started. I'm giving away a free reading each week of January. All you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to my channel and comment your name in the comments section on any recent reading. Good luck, my beautiful Capricorns, and happy birthday to my Capricorn sons out there. Wishing you a blessed, abundant, and peaceful birthday season with many, many years to come. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. Spirit, this is for Capricorn in their love lives for the first half of January. What's going on for my beautiful Capricorns in love? All right, Capricorn, please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. First card out is the Three of Wands coming in as Take the Lead, Fire Energy. We have Blossom. This is Judgment. We have Open Up. This is the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. We have Well Deserved Reward, the Nine of Pentacles, more Earth Energy. We have Simply Love, the Six of Cups, Water Energy. And we have Rest and Reconsider, the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. All right, Capricorn, if you are in a relationship, you look very, very, very determined to not repeat the past. I feel like you and your person have gone through cycles that were not the greatest and there is a energy available for you and this person to have a totally new beginning, a second chance for this relationship. But there is a very large indication that if you two keep holding on to what happened in the past, there's going to be a constant struggle in this relationship really moving forward. So it does look like your first half of January is fully focused on releasing the past, not repeating the past, and letting it go. I do feel like somebody is still stuck in what possibly happened in the past in this connection that still needs to be worked through. That may be why this message is coming in so specifically. Others of you Capricorns, there is a very high indication that you need to let go or release something that happened to you in the past. It doesn't mean that you're still stuck on someone. It doesn't mean that you still want something from your past. But there's a very large indication that there was a hurt that has occurred. There was a lot of wounds. There was a lot of trauma from your past that may be definitely, definitely causing delays in your love life now. So you may be holding on to a grudge or a resentment of what somebody did to you. You don't have to openly forgive this person, but possibly within you, forgiving it, letting it go will really help your relationship move forward, attract better people in your life. So first story, Capricorn, there's a very large indication of you and your person needing to let go of the past. Point blank period. The connection is not going to work if the past keeps getting brought up again. And Spirit is giving y'all chance after chance. I don't know what's going on with you, Capricorn, but it's like Spirit's giving a relationship chance after chance after chance to work out. And y'all are just like, charge, let's battle each other instead. When it's kind of like, all right, no, let's, let's make peace instead. I don't know why, but it looks like y'all are getting another chance to heal and move forward. And single Capricorns, I definitely see you letting go of past people, past hurts, past trauma, or at least that's the energy available for you to reap rewards of new people in your life. So let's clarify this spirit for Capricorn and see what's going on. Spirit, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the first half of January for my beautiful Capricorn. All right, the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups. Yep. On Judgment, we have the King of Wands. 
On the Four of Pentacles, we have the Hermit. There it is. On the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups. On the Six of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. There it is. There's that past energy. Four of Swords. Putting it down, healing it, and moving on. Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. There's the reward. There's your reward for being determined in releasing the past of either this connection or past connections, past people that really, it seems like, pissed you off. <clears throat> I feel like they made you very angry with this King of Wands coming in. I feel like there's a very large sense of anger that you're releasing here, Capricorn. Maybe even your person. You and your person may have been very triggering towards one another. For um, the Four of Pentacles here to the Hermit, like I said, Spirit is saying, Capricorn, release what needs to be released. Heal what needs to be healed so I can bring you better energy in this connection. The Ace of Pentacles, more growth, more abundance, strengthening the bond that you two share. The Three of Cups right up there to the Three of Wands, showing a sense of you two need to choose the third path, the new path, to have this happiness in this connection. So Capricorns in relationships, they're is a wonderful, it looks like it's very determined energy to heal the past of this connection. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, really open up more emotionally to connecting on a spiritual level and on a heart-to-heart -heart level. Where before, I don't know how y'all were connecting. It may have seemed like it was emotional and it was heartfelt, but it's not going to be like it is now. Like now you're going to see more emotion and more heartfelt energy. So Capricorns and connections. Man, y'all were really struggling and spirit was giving y'all opportunity after opportunity, cycle after cycle, new beginning after new beginning to really work through this. And I finally feel like you are, you two are really showing a lot more progress than ever before. Maybe even your person was stuck on past things that happened to them, had nothing to do with you, yet it was ruining the connection. Could have been you in that position too. Maybe even both of you were, you know, a bit traumatized by your past, met each other, and it's just like, all right, I'm still working through this sort of energy. So beautiful healing, beautiful reconciliation of the heart between you and this person, and a lot less anger. I want to say that there was anger here. And for others of you Capricorns, if you are single, you're healing and it looks beautiful. You are really saying to yourself, the past is not where I belong any longer. I want to free myself from it. I want to pursue different people. I want to pursue newer people, better people, and people that make me feel a lot more stable. And it looks like whatever shift you are doing is bringing you a new offer new love here. So I like this for you, Capricorn. And I feel like it's very highly needed because I've been feeling this energy of letting go of the past for y'all for a long time. And with that six of cups of the four of swords, there's finally this sense of healing from it and you're no longer phased by it. You see this person, four of swords, there's something happening in his window. I mean, granted, this car means, this car does show that in his window, he's getting like gifts and stuff like that, but he's not phased by it. He doesn't really care. He's like, you're not in the position of being nostalgic over the past any longer. You know, when we look back on the past, things may have seemed a little bit better than they actually were. And then sometimes you look back on the past and you just hate what happened to you. You're in a position now of saying, you know what, things happen how they happened. I'm not going to ruin new relationships just because of what happened to me in the past. And for others of you Capricorns, things happen in the past with this person, whether the past of two weeks ago or a couple months ago, and you two are finally going through that release and not, I want to say poisoning the connection still and really saying, let's have this new energy. Let's heal Let's be happier. Let's let it go. And let's see what we could be now. So pretty interesting here. Definitely feel like Capricorns in relationships getting a wonderful second chance for happiness. 
and single Capricorns, I definitely see you connecting to somebody new, better, and just, you just feel better with this person. So that's what I have here for you, Cappy. Could be dealing, um, in terms of zodiac signs, I have Virgo. That's really all I have is Virgo. You may have Virgo in your chart. Couldn't connect to a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. I also have Judgment here, which is the fixed signs is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So Capricorn, we are going to get your Oracle for your love life for the first half of January now. And then we're getting each Zodiac signs feelings for you. Spirit, this is for Capricorn and their love lives. Capricorn for the first half of January. We have here contemplation. Yep, a lot of thinking about what to do. We have patience. And we have family. So single Capricorns, you may have been very focused on your family matters, very focused on family, not necessarily even thinking about love, being very patient with love. Others of you, you, you actually may be getting help from family to navigate your current connection. Maybe you share a family with this person. You're close to their family. Let's see what we got going on here, Spirit, for Capricorn. On contemplation, we have admired. Yeah, Capricorns in relationships. You both know you two really have this energy of loving one another, wanting each other, and just being in that vibe of, I, I, no matter what we go through, I still adore you sort of thing. And single Capricorns, you've been very patient with love, very, been very patient with who you give your attention to. On patience, we have soulmate. Look at that. Look at that. The connection coming in for you. Others of you Capricorns, this relationship really finally connecting at that soul level of adoring one another and not being so challenged, so tense. Family with bound. There you are, Capricorn, coming in. That, that could just be because you have the focus on family. It doesn't necessarily be, have to be that there was toxicity. I do feel like my Capricorns in relationships, obviously there was toxic energy that needed to be released. There is a very high possibility your family aids in helping with this or a certain family member aids in helping maybe the connection somehow. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. Some of you just share a family with this person and or either of you spend a lot of time with family member and for others of you Capricorns patience with soulmate. I can't make it up. I was saying that for my single Capricorns the whole time. Your person is coming in. You did the work. And spirit is going to bring that energy in for you. And you will feel rewarded with a soulmate. So that's what I got. Spirit is rewarding you for letting go of the past. So Capricorn all the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's get each Zodiac signs feelings for you. Spirit, this is for Capricorn from Aries to Pisces. Show me each Zodiac signs feelings for Capricorn for the first half of January. All right, we have Aries feelings for you as the Queen of Cups. So Aries definitely has feelings for you. They feel very vulnerable and their feelings run very deep for you. I do feel like Aries is in a position of contemplating emotionally expressing this to you, but they definitely have feelings for you there. Taurus feelings for you are temperance. So Taurus is being being very patient with this relationship. They want to they want to have peace with you. They want to have balance. Some of you, a Taurus, really does just want to have peace with you because you two have been very conflicted. Others of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus who is finding peace on their own. They maybe just be very patient and coming your way or having some sort of togetherness with you. Next we have is Gemini's feelings for you, King of Pentacles. It does look like Gemini is either in a position of committing to you, um, feeling comfortable in this commitment, or you're just dealing with a Gemini who's very focused on their work. Next is Cancer's feelings for you as the Knight of Cups. Cancer feels very interested in pursuing you. They feel the emotional connection. They feel the spiritual connection. And they absolutely want to see where this goes. Some of you, your Cancer is opening up to you emotionally for the first time. 
Leo's feelings for you are the Empress. So Leo feels like you are their person. You are their one. You are the one that is going to be their lifelong partner. They find a lot of value in you. They find a lot of growth in you. And they are absolutely interested in striving in this connection and having higher level of commitment with you. Next we have is Virgo's feelings for you as the Queen of Wands. So Virgo is very interested in pursuing you. They think you look good. They think you smell good. They think you are a very charming person. And they're very interested in pursuing you and seeing where this goes. Strong attraction between you and Virgo. Libra's feelings for you are Justice, which is Libra's card. So Leo wants... Le sorry. Libra wants to create some sort of balance with you. Um, or So this can go a couple of different ways. Justice coming in. Some of you, a Libra wants to make things right with you after possibly messing things up. There's definitely an energy of Libra wanting to make things right or be more balanced with you. For others of you, Libra have, may have made a final decision about this connection or they feel like you have made a final decision about this connection. Next up is... Scorpio's feelings for you, King of Swords. So Scorpio feels like you have cut them off. Or you uh, may have felt, may have gotten cut off by a Scorpio, but there's definitely extreme emotional distance and detachment between the two of you. If you are still connected to a Scorpio, they look very distant and detached emotionally, at least right now. <clears throat> Next up is Sagittarius. Feelings for you are the world. So Sagittarius may feel like things are done and over with, or they want a cycle to close out so you and Sag can have a totally new beginning. Next up is Capricorn's feelings for you as the Knight of Swords. So fast-paced communication coming from a Capricorn. If you haven't heard from Capricorn, you may hear from a Capricorn. Others of you, you are definitely just in a position of communicating more towards one another. Could be a bit dramatic. You two may be working on having less dramatic conversation. Maybe you do that specifically, Capricorn. Or you feel like your Capricorn does that to you. You are Capricorn, so take which way you want to take that. Next is Aquarius feelings for you as a lover. So Aquarius is definitely interested in reconciling with you, um, connecting better, reconnecting. Some of you, you are connecting to an Aquarius and they feel like you are their soulmate, definitely a strong soul tie. Others of you, there may be a decision being made in this connection, or at least Aquarius feels so. And lastly, we have Pisces feelings for you, Capricorn as the star. So Pisces feels like you are their wish fulfillment. They are hoping and wishing for possibly some healing in this connection with the star. Or Pisces just feels like you are the person that they have wished for. And they feel like very happy that they have connected to you or are connecting to you. Others of you, same sort of energy, but there may be a very large energy around healing this connection with the star and finding hope again and making this relationship work and strive forward. So let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Capricorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. Thank you, Cappy, for being here and for watching. Once again, happy birthday to my Capricorn sons out there. And I'll talk to y'all all very soon. Bye now.